Thank you. 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 Thank you.
have a presentation as well as a question and answer, and it's going to break up into groups for, for the folks that do attend. So when we say a bus, we have one bus, but if we manage that high, we'll provide a second bus. One location I think would be ideal would be here. We can have one bus here and one bus at Glasgow Park. So if you have any other ideas, uh, please send me an email. I have until Friday to finalize those bus stops, but again, it would be one bus for now, and I'm thinking of this location to be that one bus stop for the folks to take that trip to uh, what says <coughs> in Hollywood.
stores, uh, convenience stores like 7-Eleven, uh, that those uh, stores will, uh, that ordinance will come into effect starting July 1st of this year. Uh, but uh, the ban does not apply for restaurants, dry cleaning shops, or other hardware stores such as Home Depot's. So uh, today, you know, uh, we brought some bags, uh, or if you require bags, please call our office. We're more than glad to uh, be happy to provide you uh, with one of uh, Another item that I wanted to share uh, over the holiday uh, week, Council office uh, sent out a press release and I have copies of that press release with me in the back. Uh, just wanted a uh, quick uh, mention this. So, again, through efforts of our council office, as one of their holding these are the community at large, uh, we would secure $2.6 uh, million dollars in commitments from the University of uh, Southern California, USC, uh, to vacate plans uh, to build a street for the Hazard Park. Uh, and we'll bring $1 million in park improvements, uh, which again, if you were able to get, uh, get this input from community meetings that was held at Hazard Park, and we we'll want to thank the stakeholders that came out uh, and addressed their, their concerns uh, related to the USC project. Uh, also, just wanted to touch on the agreement, also includes uh, securing an additional park for park visitors at a proposed USC parking lot. Uh, which USC is being built, as long as many, many other uh, agreements and uh, that I have on the press release uh, that you're more than welcome to have. Uh, one other update, or just to share, uh, the Los Angeles Business Watch, the first one for the year, is scheduled for Tuesday, January 14th at 10 a.m. at our office on Huntington Drive, 4927 uh, East Huntington Drive North. Uh, all are welcome uh, to attend. And also, uh, the last item is uh, the El Sereno Recreation Center is having the first uh, PAD meeting uh, scheduled for uh, tomorrow, 7 p.m. in the gym. It's the first one that they've had in over a year. Uh, so everyone is uh, welcome to, to attend. Uh, there will be many items that will be discussed as it relates to uh, the rec center. What gym? Uh, the gym located in the right center. The, the, the El Sereno El, El Recreation Center. Because yeah. we have two recreation centers here. Yes, sir. The uh, El Sereno Recreation Center. Not the, yeah. more, more just a general comment. Regarding yes. the plastic bag ban, I just want to let the community know that the neighborhood council here uh, voted to uh, reject council
somebody on uh, Winchester <coughs> Huntington Drive, and then I had a three victim, or some guy threw a rock at three people. So pretty much, not very much in the last four weeks in terms of uh, violent crime. What kills me is my property crime. I had 35 uh, property crimes in the last four weeks. And I'll talk real briefly about last year, it's a whole year from uh, all 2013. In Hollenbeck, we had 17 homicides. The previous year, we had 18. So, so 17 is bad, it's better than 18. Four of which were in a, a 9032, which is very high. Usually, you have one or two. So, uh, a lot of the homicides in the 9032. Again, in the division, we were number three in, in crime reduction for violent crime. We had a minus 18% in all the violent crime last year. Property crime, we were number six in the city. And when I say number uh, three or six, I'm talking about the divisions. We have 21 uh, divisions like Grand Park, Hollenbeck, New Northeast, and things like that. So in, in violent crime, we were number three. Property crime, we were number six, with a 7.7 .7 reduction. And total, we were number five in the entire city with a minus 10%. And the city has told us we got to do another 3% this year. Last year was only 1%, now we're going to do 3%. Like that. So they're asking more for us. And the best division in the whole city was Harbor, which is down by uh, San, San Pedro. We were minus 11.1%. So we were 1% we were within being number one. So we did a heck of a job. So uh, it's not me. Oh, by the way, I forgot to um, acknowledge my partner, Oscar Cassini. Sorry, Oscar. <laughs> He's a senior lead officer for Hillside Village, Ramona Guards, and a sliver of uh, Boyle Heights. Sorry, so uh, that's pretty much it about crime. The best division uh, was uh, Harbor. The worst division, believe it or not, was uh, West LA. You think it's a real ritzy area? They have plus 10%. Uh, real quick, uh, this is my car for last year. This is the whole year from 2013. I had, uh, like I said, a uh, Chose three homicides in the middle of the zone just outside my area, 9032. Two rapes, 29 robberies, 71 aggravated assaults, 82 burglaries, 181 GTA stolen cars. That's, that's, that's my Achilles heel. Uh, burglary theft from a vehicle, they break their car, <laughs> 804. And personal theft, 108. Speaking of burglaries, we had a, a serial burglars. A couple of kids who were burglarizing the uh, Huntington Drive business corridor. They did nine burglaries in, in about a week and a half. So we have uh, our detectives working throughout the holidays, day and night, and we ended up catching them about two days ago. And the district attorney filed uh, nine counts of commercial burglary. <laughs> so I was going to say, it's not me or Oscar who do all this labor, because actually those street cops and detectives behind the scenes, they should get the house. We always get them. The accolades and the certificates, there's one of the other guys that are doing So if you see them, acknowledge them, please.
that general area and that general area between Poplar and
many, many years ago, I used to do murals here in El Camino. Uh, the taggers destroyed them all. But, uh, you know, I took pictures of uh, the alley that's right next to the Big Saber. And, uh, you know, you guys can look at them. I, I'd like to make that a project of ours where we clean up the alley and then maybe we can do some artwork. Uh, over where Fresco Market is now closed on Monterey Road and Huntington Drive. Uh, that whole alley, about 20 years ago, uh, we, we decorated the whole alley. If anybody remembers it, but it was the Lion King characters and it was uh, the Power Ranger characters and all these Disney characters. It was done for the neighborhood kids. And uh, it lasted for quite a few years before it got destroyed. Uh, we did the same thing just for the month of time. So we can do it, we can do it again. We have uh, the major gangs here. You guys already know it's the Wall Street, it's uh, Sedeno, it's, uh, it's the Highlands, and it's uh, East Side 18th Street. We have four major gangs. We have uh, numerous tagging crews. Uh, but, but our job as gang intervention workers uh, is to deal with these youngsters. And that's what we do. So if, uh, before the night's over, I'll make sure that everyone has a flyer. It has our contact information. Feel free to give us a call. Thank you very much. Just one more thing, uh, you know, from where the uh, description of uh, the Echo Palabra, uh, I don't know if any of you guys know about that, or the Echo Palabra is still out of the bit, but, but we also just want to